there is also a different way in which the lambda function is returned from a function okay so over here i have taken another example where we are defining a function get greetings that returns another function with a empty parenthesis with a return type of string okay the return function is hello world and this is taking no arguments but is returning a string okay this lambda function is having no arguments but has a return type that is string okay you can call get greeting and assign the returned lambda to greet okay now greet holds the function and not a string yet okay now when we are invoking the greet function it is simply returning the hello world and from the print ln it is simply printing the value inside the greet file lastly you can also store lambdas in a variable okay so over here i have declared a lambda and i'm assigning it to say hi okay then the lambda is of type unit because there is no input or no return value so the default value is unit okay you can call say hi to execute it inside it runs the print ln statement that is hi kotlin now one thing to remember you can try to use the lambda functions without a type but this may not compile sometime okay so best practice is to specify the type and kotlin cannot infer them or to declare the function type explicitly i have mentioned both of the techniques over here you can check once and this will not throw an error okay and the compiler will be able to identify this